Hey everybody, I am Julie Matheny. I am a speech pathologist and IBCLC lactation consultant. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about unusual lactation tools, gadgets, and gizmos. Now, if you follow me on social media, you know that I like to review breastfeeding products. I was a breastfeeder myself. I breastfed my two kids for two years each. And at the time I tried every gadget and gizmo that was available because I like to know what's out there. Now here's my spiel before doing any reviews of any products. When I talk about using a lactation tool with people, there's really six categories of tools. There's tools for all people, for most people, for many people, for some people, for few people, and for no people. Okay, so the always, in reality, when we're talking breastfeeding tools, gadgets, and gizmos, there are basically no products that are for all people or no people. There will always be somebody that can use a product, even if it's a horrible product. There will always be two or three or a handful of people that will be like, oh my gosh, that changed my life. And I guarantee you there are no products out there that are for all people other than like air and water, right? These are things that we all need. But in reality, it's my opinion that there really are no products out there that are for all people or that no one can use. There's that, That's not how humans work. Most of the products that you'll see me review then fall into the category of they're great for most people, for many people, for some people, or for few people. So before we talk about any products, just know that there is no perfect product out there. Do not fall for the marketing, okay? So the products I'm going to talk to you about today are products that I feel like some people can use, but not most and not few, okay? So it's gonna kind of fall in that like some to many-ish categories because there's some really unusual and cool products out there, all right? And maybe you'll be one of the some people out there that could actually benefit from these products, okay? So the first I wanna talk about are the Sarah's Chill. Uh, these are called the Shield Maidens. These are nipple shields that come in really cool colors. These are actually color changing nipple shields. Now the advantage of the Shield Maiden nipple shields is they are very thin for the skin and they have a texture that's a little bit more like skin, and they have these little holes where baby can breathe. Now, the thing that I don't like is how they're a little thick. They're a little bit thicker than the Medela nipple shields, and they're that same cone shape, but they do have three sizes. So they have the large, which is purple, the medium, which is blue, and the small, that's pink. So these are comparable in shape and size to your Medela Shield you might have gotten in the hospital. But the cool thing is, when you have them on your skin, they go clear. Ah! Now, I, I don't know about you, I used the Nipple Shield for about six weeks with my first, because I was a lactation consultant and I still had no idea what I was doing. Ah, full disclosure. And I can tell you the reason I weaned off my nipple shield was because it was clear and at 2 a.m. one day I couldn't find it and I was just like, screw it, and I latched her and we never looked back, right? But these are actually color changing nipple shields. So cool little kitschy thing, they color change when you're breastfeeding. These are not one size fits all. There are many people who the shape of this and the thickness of this won't help their breastfeeding journey. But if you fall into the some people that actually have a nipple that's the size and shape, and you need the color changing so that you can find them, and you like how that texture is on your skin, this is a cool product. So this is by Sarah's Chill. These are the Shield Maidens. And again, for some people, these will work for some. These will not work for most, but these will work for some. So that's a cool product, okay? The next one is the Pump Pod. Pump Pod! So we all know about Hakka. Hakka is your silicone. Uh, manual pump, meaning that it suctions on and it provides more of a vacuum than just uh, having a milk collector if you leak. Um, but Hakka has a pretty wide open mouth. This is the pump pod designed by a lactation consultant. And instead of being that wide open mouth, it actually has a diameter to it that is supposed to fit the nipple better. So this one, this silicone pump, 
would suction on to the opposite breast while you're nursing and or pumping and or just walking around leaking and collects leaking milk. Now this again is one of those some people can use this. I tried this, I tried it with a couple patients. My comments on the pump pod is that this is very bulbous and bulky and it holds just about four and a half ounces, which is a decent size, but it's heavy. I found this one to be heavy and it has this bulky knob here that makes it heavier. So an advantage of this is you can get just the right nipple size. You can put flans inserts in here to get where it's just suctioning around the nipple. Uh, this area is really bulky. I did find that it does not have as much suction as the Hakka. It won't generate the <laughs> suction on there, which has pros and cons to it. The benefit of that is this has could potentially have less of a risk of causing trauma from having the suction too strong. I've seen some purple nipples where y'all cupped your nipple from using that haka. And too much suction can also pull out a lot of milk, which can cause an oversupply. So this one doesn't, I felt, did not generate quite as much suction, and you can get a better nipple size. But I felt that it was heavy and bulky and tended to pull away from the breast. So it is intended to be used with a nursing bra um, or to be held on in place. Um, it follows all the other same directions for cleaning and sanitizing. Um, and again, the advantage of this one is you can get a smaller nipple diameter and it doesn't, I felt now, again, small limited sample size, felt it didn't stay on as well, which can have the advantage of not having so much suction that it damages tissue. Okay, so that's the pump pod, unique little boob grenade, as I like to call it. And then the last one, again, some people, some people, not all, not most, uh, in my opinion, not many, but that's that one, okay? And then the last are these Better Baby Care stainless steel pumping bottles. A lot of people ask me about sustainable pumping. They don't want to be using plastic where it can leach into the BPA and the plastics and all that kind of stuff can leak into breast milk from constant heating and cooling. So there are options of stainless steel bottles. This is, I did a trial of this, I did a review of this a little while ago in my sustainable pumping. I did a little spiel on it. Um, the threading on this is compatible with a couple of the brands for pumps. So you, this is compatible with some of the pump flanges. I believe Spectra is compatible with this one. So you can pump directly into stainless steel. Um, if you're using a narrow neck bottle, you could try the adapter so you can go from a uh, Medela pump to the wide neck flange um, to be using these bottles. So um, I do think it's pretty cool that we now have sustainable options that if you don't want to be using plastic bottles, that there are more sustainable ways to be able to pump your breast milk. Um, not everybody wants to do that. That's really cool. You get to choose what you want to do. These could be one of those choices where most people could use this. I don't see too many reasons why you couldn't other than if the threading isn't compatible with your particular flange. Um, but it's a cool travel container to be able to keep your milk um, sterile. Not sterile, it won't be sterile, but keep your milk at a consistent temperature if you're pumping at work. So these are the um, Better Baby Care stainless steel pump bottles, which are a pretty cool idea because I do get a lot of people asking about sustainable pumping. So there you go. There's some really cool breastfeeding products out there. Um, I was not paid by any of these products to promote these products. These are just things that uh, come across my office that I'm like, oh, that's kind of a cool idea. I wonder who could use that. Um, there's the little bloop so you don't spill your milk because we cry over spilled milk little brush that comes with that. So again, I'm not paid to promote these products. These are just things that migrate across my desk. I again, am a big proponent that there is no one size fits all product for everybody. There just isn't. Um, but that there's some really cool products out there that can help make life easier for some of us, for many of us, for a few of us. 
Um, so those are the products of the day. If you have a product that you want me to review or that you've used and you found helpful, send me a message because I'm always curious to see what's out there in the world. Okay, everybody, have a great rest of your day. Now you know.